This video is sponsored by Auto Exchange. Okay, what is up guys? Fahan here and uh, today I'm back with my sponsor Auto Exchange and we're gonna review some bikes. Let's head inside. Hey, Adi! Welcome to Mosti. How are you, man? Right. How are you? So, I want to ask one thing. Uh. What has happened ever since I shared the videos? Uh? A lot of value for Auto Exchange. Uh. There's a lot of customer all referred by watching your videos and they really like your videos good feedback good review and they decided to come here and rent from us lah thank you Fahad thank you so much wow serious lah I never I never expect no that how to say ah the videos will make such the a big impact ah the response was good yeah okay so so Hadi I want to ask ah mm -hmm. uh, what new bikes you guys have got okay for class 2 way we got the Versi X300 Kawasaki uh, we got CBF 190 TR we have the MT15, Lambretta, scooter. On top of the existing models such as uh, Aerox and EDV150, CB400X, CB400X, Super 4. Super 4 and today Hadi has a good deal for me. Yeah. He is hmm. going to rent me the what? Uh, Z1000. Z1000 uh. <laughs> <laughs> he has been pestering me to rent this bike now for a very long time. And because today I'm free, yeah, so I, we decided to do it. Lah. Wow, yeah. power lah. So, I know you've been wanting me to test this bike lah. Why yeah. ah? Just curious ah. Just test lah. Test lah. Uh, just test so they have a feel of the bike. Okay. Of this, this. Is, is it your favourite bike? In the, uh, in the fleet? Not really. Not really ah. Okay. Favourite yeah. would be let's Versys ah. Versys or Forex. Oh, I see, I see. Uh. Okay ah, let's go and okay. see the bike Let's go. Wow, power lah Adi. This is the bike ah. Yes. Alamak. <laughs> yeah, it's a gun no. Okay. Actually, Adi, I I very scared. Slowly, slowly. I very scared slowly. of this bike. <laughs> so anyway, uh, me and Auto Exchange, I'm with Hadi here. We have a deal for you guys. Yep. If you guys quote my name, there will be a twenty percent, a twenty percent discount. Yep. Okay. And what is it that they have to say? You to have you? to quote I love Fahan <laughs> So when they are in the office, ah, if you want a discount, they must quote lah. I love Fahantre. Ah. Yes, correct. Okay, so yeah, just just say I love Fahantre, then you get a discount. Ah. Yep. Okay. Once again, Hadi, thank you so no much okay. for you guys, yourself, uh, your boss, ah, Auto Exchange, for you know uh, offering me to do the bike reviews. Lah. Yep, no worries. So yeah, guys, we're gonna get back to the bike reviews in a short while. Lah. Okay guys, here back at my favorite multi-story car park to review the Kawasaki Z1000. Once again, this bike is available on Auto Exchange, so you guys can come down to Ubi, talk to Hadi, and maybe he can give you a good deal on this bike. Once again, do quote me, I love Fahantri. <laughs> <laughs> so this bike, the Kawasaki Z1000 is a, a bike that Adi actually wanted me to review for a long time because I think he wants me to uh, push out this bike. So before I give my review of this, this Z1000, I'm going to give a bit of background about it. Uh, in production from 2003 to 2016, the Kawasaki Z1000 is a Street Fighter class of motorcycle. Its design is meant to evoke aggressiveness and functionality. The release of the Z1000 coincides with the 30th anniversary of the Kawasaki Z series. Engine is a 1043cc liquid cooled 4 stroke DOHC, 4 cylinder 16 valve with fuel injection and a 6 speed constant mesh manual transmission. So in Singapore, much like Kawasaki itself, the Z1000 is an uncommon bike. So before heading here, I uh, <laughs> uh, actually rode it for a little bit and uh, my first impression of the Kawasaki Z1000 is that uh, it's pretty talky. Uh, I'm pretty scared of it, in fact, right? But uh, I'll try my best to give you my feedback on it. You'll see how she rides. Okay, so entering Tampanese FVD 10, uh, we gotta bring her into Tampanese Expressway and test out the Z1000's the performance and handling on the expressway lah. Oh, this bike really goes man and Hopefully in the highway we get to unleash the beast to its fullest potential Oh my gosh And that's the sucky part about uh, Singapore roads lah bombarded with traffic lights other than uh, 
the expressways so after like two hours with the bike riding around with it uh, I wouldn't say that I want it as uh, my daily driver but maybe as a weekend bike I don't mind now but as a daily driver I wouldn't think it's very practical for me because I prefer a motorcycle that is practical you know which is uh, comfortable right height not not too aggressive uh, lots of accessories and um, easy for you to put uh, motorcycle box or side box side panels on it so entering Tampines Expressway uh, hopefully we get to unleash the Z1000's full potential okay it's pretty good acceleration uh, doesn't really cut through the wind properly because there's no presence of a windshield in front of me maybe uh, if I were to lower down a bit uh, but it's too aggressive uh, I'm, I'm not, I don't really like it and you don't even realize you're going very fast I think we actually look down the speedometer, you know. I thought like I'm going at you know 70 or 60, but when you look down, you're already at 92 already. Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, I'm willing to see how the Z1000 performs on the race track. You know, it'd be it would be really awesome to see. Uh, you know, it, it really unleashing its full potential on a closed circuit. That would be nicer. Uh, it does want to go faster, but I'm trying to hold it down for the speed limit right now. It's very light, very nimble. Uh, the size is also quite small. You know, I'm 165. Uh, it's not too tall for me. I'm not really tip toying on this bike. The height is comfortable for me uh, for this bike. But I just don't like the sitting posture because it's a bit too aggressive. So we're gonna try and give it a, a little bit of gas. Oh my god! She really wants to go faster, guys! She wants to go even faster than this. Oh my gosh. I'm really teaming her as much as I can right now. Okay, let's give it a bit of gas once more. Guys, this bike really goes and uh, sadly I cannot unleash it to its fullest potential because that would mean I'm speeding but um, yeah, if you want the performance, it's just there, it's just a throttle away, you know. For the Z1000, there's a lot of technology involved on this bike, especially in regards to traction control, engine braking and also uh, handling and cornering, you know. Uh, there's, their, there's their own Kawasaki terms that they have listed on the website and it really helps with the handling and the safety of uh, the Z1000 yeah, so we're gonna exit Upper Thompson Road and uh, top her off before we continue this review engine braking once again very effective whoops slowing down whoops need to slow down a lot and yeah the brakes are pretty responsive look at that there's also ABS on the Z1000 which means that uh, the brakes won't lock up in the event of an emergency brake oh my god you have speed camera here and then I'm trying to like get into the speed limit but you didn't even realize that you're going very fast you know I thought I'm like going at you know 50 or 40 but sekali you check your speedometer you're already at 70 you can really salute the Japanese uh, they really built the Z1000 very well it's a well engineered machine handling is very very good on this bike and it doesn't really maintain speed very well you see you have to ensure that you're holding on to the throttle to ensure it stays at the speed but uh, it doesn't really hand it doesn't really maintain speed well you just want to go uh, faster and faster it's a very aggressive street fighter so what do you expect for me, uh, I'm not too keen on the design, it's uh, very very aggressive I actually prefer bikes with uh, flarings And for me Kawasaki, in terms of uh, the design for Kawasaki bikes in general uh, They are very bold, aggressive Even more aggressive than uh, Honda and Yamaha bikes I think Yamaha is, is already there with the aggressiveness of their current lineup especially 
But Kawasaki is just one step ahead And I have to comment, the bike is very light But it's not too light Till that when you go at high speeds, right? It actually shakes It's actually, uh, it's actually very stable eh? When you're going at high speeds on the Z1000 Surprisingly Unlike the MT-09 when you're going like above 100 The handlebar starts to, you know, shake But this You feel as if you're in control of the bike at high speeds eh? And I would love to see This bike And try out this bike In uh, a closed circuit To see how she really performs on the track where the speeds are unrestricted, you know. And I was just accelerating a bit, <laughs> and it really goes. Oh my god, I think if I were to like whack this bike a bit, uh, it can go even faster. I'll be the first to leave the traffic light. Okay, bumpy road doesn't really do too well on bumpy road. Uh. The suspension kind of sucks. I'm not sure too sure if this is the stock suspension or not. Okay, I'm gonna make a U turn, and you, wow, it's very nimble. It's very nimble guys Okay, I'm not sure how much fuel the Z1000 consumes uh, But I'm just gonna put it right here The spec sheet on paper, you know I think it does consume quite considerably lah Especially on low uh, speeds uh, when you're trying to tame the bike <laughs> I mean bikes in general, in the city setting, it will tend to use up more fuel lah As opposed to a uh, highway kind of setting I just stopped her up just now and um, after like riding for almost I think 2 hours or so uh, the bike is a little bit hot. Uh, this is in compared with other bikes that I've ridden before, such as the uh, NC750 and MT-09. Uh, I mean, it's hot. It's really hot. Even the tank area here, the seat. And uh, yeah, just gonna get back on the road now. And uh, fetch my wife from work. <laughs> The pillion seat is quite small, so I don't know if my wife would be very comfortable uh, pillioning with me on this bike. But uh, we shall see. So interesting stuff about the Kawasaki Z1000. It's actually a successor to the Kawasaki ZT1000 or the Kawasaki Z1000, which is part of the Kawasaki Z series. And that was produced from uh, 1977 to 2005. And the design-wise, uh, it doesn't really represent the successor right now uh, Because uh, that was a, a very old school bike lah. And uh, it was a very popular police bike A lot of police forces use it And uh, even uh, a couple of movies also used the Kawasaki Z1000 So it was interesting to see lah, the history of Kawasaki Z1000 And I'm actually surprised that its successor which is this bike looks nothing or resemble its uh, predecessor, the ZT1000. Okay, so we are gonna see how the Z1000 handles in uh, low speeds and especially at a, a private estate, you know, where there's a lot of turns and what have you. I mean, and I found this very suitable place. That uh, we can test this bike out in that kind of uh, low speed situation. Okay, let's see the brakes. Pretty, pretty responsive. And I just love the handling on this bike. This bike uh, is very nimble. It, you know, it goes where you want to go. It turns where you want to turn. And I feel that this will be a good track bike. Uh, because the handling is superior. And this is what... Japanese bikes are usually known for fall. Okay, we're gonna turn left right here and wow That is amazing man. I really love the handling on this. It corners beautifully And uh, low speeds, I'm really restricting its uh, potential right now. <laughs> it does want to go faster Acceleration is damn sweet, man. The top on this bike. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's do a U turn right here. Wow. Amazing handling. Okay, so let's turn left. 
if the Z1000 doesn't really do too well on uh, bumpy roads uh, I can really feel every line every <laughs> every bump every pothole probably it's right down to the mode markings I can really feel it on the seat right now now, I wouldn't say in Singapore the Z1000 is a rare bike uh, because I have seen um, a handful on the roads but then uh, I, I don't think it's widely popular among riders because uh, Kawasaki doesn't have a presence in Singapore but Malaysia plate yes I've seen the Kawasaki Z1000 around and yeah Kawasaki has a popular stronghold in Malaysia and they even have their own dealership over there which explains a lot lah even their police bikes are also Kawasaki that really surprises me lah like a major Japanese manufacturer doesn't have a presence in Singapore okay bumpy road ahead <laughs> uh, so I'll be fetching my wife from work in a while and uh, we shall see if she likes to be pillin on the Z1000 but uh, given this small seat I don't think my wife actually likes it. Lah. <laughs> hey guys, so fetching my wife now. Uh, she actually doesn't know about this bike. So we're gonna see what her reaction is. What is this, man? Oh, you like it? I don't know. You like the bike? It's your favorite color, though. <laughs> Do you buy a new bike? Yeah, I paid in Emelina for this. Are you sure? Yes. No, you don't. Yes, it's mine. Nah. No, you are joking. Nah. You are joking. Yes, let's go. Okay, ready? Yeah. Ready, yeah? Okay, let's go. Ah! Ah, I'm so scared! Oh my god, no! Okay, so I think you had a. <laughs> you weren't happy about that, but you had to go. Hey, have you recorded? Yeah, you had to go on the Z1000. So, what do you think? Mm. That's a pillion. Okay, first and foremost, maybe because uh, it doesn't have any box behind it. Mm. So I feel so insecure and so vulnerable. Uh, and then because the pillion seat is very... It's inclined, so I don't feel very comfortable with that. Maybe mm. because of my size, I don't know. Maybe because I'm not really used to it. Uh, but my first time riding it, I feel so vulnerable actually. Maybe yeah. after time I can get used to it, but um, if you ask me, like the first time I'm ride, I'm riding as a what? Pillion. Mm. Uh, okay, like, actually this bike is not mine. Uh. It's not my bike. I rented this bike from Auto Exchange. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So after riding the Z1000 for a couple of hours, uh, doing my normal routine things, I'll talk with the review. What I like about this bike is that it's very talky, it's very fast, it handles really well, surprisingly. Yeah? And it's light, it's very small, you can even go in between cars, cut through traffic. The uh, acceleration, pickup, phew, this bike, among the class 2 bikes that I've ridden before, this is the very best. Kawasaki really outdid themselves for the Z1000. However, uh, with that comes uh, the downsides. Lah. <laughs> and for me personally, I feel that the Kawasaki Z1000, I wouldn't say it's very, very easy bike. Lah. Uh, those who just pass their class 2 and then are looking for the Z1000 as their first class 2 bike, I would say that please do not get the Z1000 because it's a very difficult bike to ride. A difficult to ride in a sense whereby there's so much power that you'll need some experience with other class 2 bikes that are much more easier to handle to tame the power of the Z1000. The Z1000, its power is very, <laughs> it's very phenomenal. Like even I myself also had some trouble with uh, the clutch especially. Yeah? The clutch, because it doesn't have a gear indicator and then it's very really difficult to put it in neutral or to know which gear you are in. I did have some trouble with that. Uh, it was off camera, so the bike actually stalled, and uh, because I threw the clutch out, and then after that I had to, you know, troubleshoot that right then and there, lah. Uh, it's quite dangerous, lah, actually, to be frank with you guys, lah. Uh, when that happened to me, but luckily I was holding onto the clutch. There was only a loud rev as opposed to it doing a wheelie at the traffic light just now. So with that, um, I personally feel that you will need some class 2 experience before you can learn to tame the Z1000. And um, other than that, it's an aggressive posture. So you will tend to lean forward, will be bent even more. 
uh, because for me I'm used to riding uh, touring bikes, taller bikes. The posture for me is quite uncomfortable for me lah. Other than that, the engine does get a bit hot. Eh? So your shin area, your thigh area, especially your inner thighs here, it will uh, get a little bit uh, warm lah. And uh, after riding it for quite a while, especially today, eh, uh, doing my routine stuff, uh, it, it does get a little hot. So you need to withstand the heat lah. I love the Z1000 design. The Z1000 design is uh, really aggressive, really bold. True to what Kawasaki is doing right now with their range of bikes currently in the market. And accessories wise, I wouldn't worry about it because uh, there are accessories online, especially on Shopee and Lazada. And you can even get it shipped from Malaysia because this bike is a popular bike in Malaysia actually. And uh, yeah, I love the orange color on this. My favorite color once again. <laughs> Uh, it's very bold, very striking on the road, uh, but, I, but it's not practical for me, lah, I feel. The bike isn't really practical, there's no box. I don't know, if it has a box, it will look pretty ugly to me. There's no windshield when you're riding, right? You are trapping air in your chest and your helmet, so it doesn't really cut through the air that well lah, because of its naked nature, I think. I think you're supposed to go a bit lower, but for me, uh, I'm not used to riding this sort of bikes, I guess. Would I get the Z1000? Uh, maybe if I were to ride it once in a while, not too bad, lah, I guess. But as a daily driver, no. Lah. Maybe if you like sports bikes or you like uh, Street Fighter, snaked bikes, uh, you want to get something fast, something small, something that handles really well and you have a bit of class 2 experience, um, go get it. Why not? Um, once again, thank you to Hadi and the gang at Auto Exchange for letting me you know, use this bike, uh, let me, letting me do a review on it and Auto Exchange being a very good sponsor to me uh, do go to them for your leasing needs they have a wide range of bikes I fling Hadi's phone number right below feel free to get in touch with him once again, the promo code for 20% discount I love Fahantre <laughs> Hadi actually thought of uh, this promo code uh, so <laughs> you have to say it to Hadi to get this 20% discount that is my extensive review of the Z1000 Thank you once again to Auto Exchange for letting me borrow the bike. And uh, yeah, that's it for the vlog. And we'll see you next one.